Earlier today, I posted a video about an application that Brian Koberger had filled out back in 2015 when he was applying for a job as a custodian or a courier. Now, I don't know why I didn't notice this the first time I read it, but I sat down with Pete Pirano again today, and he's the forensic linguist and former Chicago police officer. And we went through this application as well as the 4chan posts written by Frat Anon about the Idaho murders. And when we got to one of the final lines in the application, I noticed that Koberger had used the word whilst, W-H-I-L-S-T. Now, that's a British term. In America, we say while. And when I made the connection, I realized that whoever wrote the Frat Anon posts, and in those posts, they were claiming to be somebody from Sigma Chi and that a couple of the brothers from Sigma Chi were responsible for the murders. And in these posts, the writer peppered the language or peppered the posts with British words or British terms. He referred to Maddie as Mads. He called freshmen freshers. Um, he used the C word to talk about, to describe the, the two fraternity brothers. And it's the C word is uh, usually a term, a derogatory term used to describe women. And I thought, oh, that's interesting because he uses this British word in this application as well as there's some British terms in this, in this frat anon post. Now, it might not mean anything. It could have just been a 20-year-old Brian Koberger trying to sound more worldly and, and more sophisticated um, than he was or than any of us were at 20. So with all that said, here's the interview I did with Pete Pirano where we go through Brian Koberger's application as well as the 4chan post. And as always, I want to hear what you think in the comments. So this is a job application that Brian Koberger filled out for a custodian uh, slash courier position, and he filled it out in 2015. And this is the section where he has to sort of give his special skills uh, and like basically like uh, other experience that he might have that would help him at this job. And he says, I am capable of what is considered pipe work. I can solder, attach pipes, and do some basic uh, HVAC. I learned this from my father. I was the District 11 Skills USA Regional Champion in 2011 for ex extemporaneous speaking. I learned how to do more HVAC at MCTI, and I learned how to patrol and do basic security procedures from my year in law enforcement. I was a boxer and am still a runner. I am a boxer and still a runner. I believe dedication and perseverance are the most important skills learned from my activities. I lost 130 pounds at age 15 into age 16 whilst, whilst attending school at PVHS and MCTI. I believe this is proof that I have the required dedication to be successful. Now, what do you notice first, obviously? Well, the weight loss, why did you even bring that up? Um, I think it shows maybe discipline, determination. So what jumps he, out at, he, go ahead. He was that much overweight that he, 130 pounds got him back in shape. That's a lot of weight. That's a lot of weight. Well, he, he also, I don't know if he had, he lost the weight before he had a very serious drug problem. I believe it what's was up, heroin. What's up with the wild, whilst? Is he English? No, that's why I laughed. <laughs> that's right. why I laughed because um, he's from Pennsylvania. PV... I, I believe that's a high school, right? PV High Pencil, School? Pennsylvania Vocational High School, I believe. And what's MCTI? That then, I don't know. Technical believe... Institute. It's something Technical Institute. But here's what jumps out at me. Okay. Every single sentence begins with the word I. Yeah, that's a good call. And... Obviously, I can't. I don't. Is it? I don't know if he's a narcissist. I don't know if he's a psychopath. But I can tell you as a writer, because I help people write their dating profiles, and I always tell them, try to leave the word "I" out if you can, because if you overuse it, it tends to imply or give the impression that you're very self-focused, right? That you're not thinking about other people. Yeah, and I, I, I agree. You, you have to though account for the question it's asking. It's saying list professional trade business and, or civic activities and offices held, you may exclude members. Of, so they're, they're wanting the person to talk about themselves. 
you have to kind of, you know, consider that, although using I for every single sentence is a bit much. I will, I will admit. Yes. And I, I know I don't, hmm. I think that there could be a lot of things causing that. That's not necessarily, um, that has anything to do with, uh, psychopathy. Um, well, is that the correct about word? Self-focus. That, that's a really good point. Um, that, yeah. it, it is a very self-focused person that would do that, I think. And this is somebody who many people have said always had to be the smartest person in the room. Yeah, he, uh, he's he's got a high opinion of himself. If you look at these sentences, um, I, what I found interesting is he talked about pipe work, HVAC, he learned it from his father, all that's, all that's together. Then all of a sudden he pivots and says, I was the District 11 Skills Regional Champion for extemporaneous speaking, speaking, like like speech or, or or debate. I mean, that's completely different from pipe work. He's yeah, he's just listing accomplishments. Um, yeah, it was very out of. And then he goes back to pipe work, kind of. Uh, I learned mm -hmm. how to do more HVAC. So that was a very kind of odd thing to stick in there, in the middle. As is, I was a boxer, and I'm still a runner. Yeah. You know, um, I can see when you're done talking about one topic like pipe work, then you go into other skills and things. Mm -hmm. I think that would make sense. But this kind of threw in the extemporaneous speaking. <laughs> in the and the, wh the whilst, the whilst, whilst, listen, I've dated my share of British men and boy, are they pretentious. And that word whilst, if you're not British and you're an American and you use that word, you're pretentious. I, I agree. I agree. That does say something about the person. That one right. word. Isn't it interesting how one word can blow the cover? One up? word can tell you so much about somebody. And that that word sure does it because it, it's a loaded word. Because if you look at the other, I, I went and looked at the other spelling and I'm like, is there any other spelling here that's how British spell? You know, they spell certain words differently. I was like, no, but whilst, and it really kind of, it's a little jarring too. Like he's trying to sound, he's overselling himself a little bit. And I know you say he thinks a lot of himself. I see somebody very, very insecure. Well, sure. Yeah. You know, um, trying to oversell himself, which anybody yeah. would, uh, but he, and he says something else uh a little bit uh, up top where he says uh i do hvac with my father and then the father's name it is a side job here and there that has allowed me to have periods of unemployment yeah that's an interesting that's, way to say that <laughs> yes has allowed me to have periods of, like uh just you know and, and yes. i got to use that i i liked that i like I, I, that was by choice Right. Yeah. Nobody wants periods of unemployment when you think right. about it. <laughs> right. He's 20 at this point, too. So yeah. I like to keep that in mind. That's so I don't think he's question. being calculated here so much as he's trying to spin it. He's trying to explain, like, why I haven't had a lot of jobs. He's trying it to. Is, it, it is fascinating to take someone's words like this and mm -hmm. to really analyze what they're saying and what they were probably thinking when they were saying it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But it. We reveal so much about ourselves without even realizing it. And this is what I try to teach women when we do the stuff with the the dating profiles and the messages and the things, uh, you know, I'm, I'm always telling them, pay attention because they, they will tell you, they'll tell you all the things that are wrong with them um, and, and won't even realize it. But you have to be, you have to be like honing in on it and you have to know how to spot it. But it is. It's fascinating because our brain very rarely betrays us in, in that it, it, we, we say more than we think we might say, we say more than like, we maybe even are conscious of. That's Absolutely. what I find. That's what I find fascinating. Absolutely. So there's, there's that. Now let's just take two minutes and go through those, uh, those four chan. Sure. One person called himself frat anon. And he was um, writing as though he was a member of the fraternity uh, of one of the victims. One of the victims belonged to Sigma Chi. And so he's he's saying he's 
he is a, a brother in this house. Okay. Um, there are a few things here and there that that stuck out to me that that, that just sort of uh, tweaked little things here and there. Uh, let's see. Bruh, you can see the King Roadhouse from David's um, Sigma Chi room. Once that third floor light turned off, they did it. 19 minutes total, walk included. Talked about this shit at Bishop Kelly and Sigma Chi. Loach and E, and these are the two people, E is Ethan, the victim, got in a fight that night. X, Xana, another victim, allegedly talking shit. L had probs with Mads also. This shit been brewing since fall rush last year. Uh, and then he uses the C word, went quiet on social media for two weeks before and after the deed. Um, uh, one of the kids, one of the one of the guys, they call him Barry. Barry's mom, a paralegal, so he knows not to say shit. Loach cleared his social media. Now, here's what jumps out at me. Or actually, let me see if anything jumps out at you. So let me just understand that this this guy is trying to blame the frat or somebody. He's, in he's an anonymous poster on 4chan. But my my belief is, and I'll tell you why, I think this is the suspect. I think this is the suspect who wrote this for two reasons. One, bra, you can see the now there's some there's some ling there's some language here that sounds very sort of Americanized. But you're thinking this is the actual killer. I think this is the actual killer. Oh, okay. So you think this is Koberger then? Yes. Ah, okay. Now I'm with you. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. So now I'm glad you have like something else that he sort of wrote watched, uh wrote because we as we saw in this last piece, this kid likes to brag, right? He likes to brag a little bit. And the word whilst, the British word, he calls Maddie Mads. He calls, he calls freshmen freshers. And then he uses the C word to talk about these two men. Those are all British terms. Fresher is a British term? Fresher. Like a fresher is, uh, in, in yeah, that's how they refer to a freshman. Um, Mads for Maddie. And the C word is that's that's often used by British British guys. I did British notice the, I did notice the word freshers when I read this the first time, and I I thought that that's just a term they use out there in uh, Idaho. No, not necessarily. Not that I heard of. Not that okay. I've I've heard of. But I'll tell you what really really jumps out at me. Now keep in mind this was published on December twelfth. Uh, 18 and, days before the suspect was arrested. And how many days after the murder? Uh, almost a month to the day. Okay. It's when he says 19 minutes total walk included. That's very close to the timeline of this, of this killing. He enters the residence around four, meaning the area of the house, 404. He's seen leaving around 421. Right. I feel as though, and that the one thing that people talk the most about about this case is how did he do it so quickly? How did he do it so fast? Uh, I, that that I, didn't puzzle me that much. Until you, until you, but did you know the timeline? Well, I think you said it was very, it was done in a matter of minutes, the, the entire crime. The entire crime when he was in the house was about 10-ish minutes, 10 to 12 yeah. minutes. But from him, him getting to the, the, uh, like the area to park and leaving, it's almost 19 minutes. Who would know that? That's what that seems like to me. So he's, he's trying, whoever wrote this is trying to say it's a 19 minute walk from the fraternity house, right? That's what he's, they're trying to say here directly? No, they're saying from the fraternity house to the house to do the murders and then back 19 then back, minutes. 19 minutes, right. Okay. And that's essentially what it, mm. give or take like two minutes, two, two or three minutes. That's too, that's too close for my comfort. We didn't know that now, then. What What that's, is Bishop Kelly referring to? A high school. Okay. Like a private high school, like a private Catholic high school. 
would would have would Kohlberger have any connection to that high school? Where so imagining if this was Kohlberger that wrote this, you got to figure the other sentences in here too. I mean, he might just be making that up. Where, where would he have gotten that from? Social media. That's easy. Okay. Sigma Chi. Go to the Sigma Chi house. Find some of the brothers. Then do a deep dive. It's crazy how how much information is accessible. Like all you'd have who, to do is who Google is the X? Kid. X allegedly talking shit. Who, who's X? Xana, one of the ah, Ethan's right. girlfriend, one of the victims. Okay. So that it's the mention of that nineteen minutes total walk included. Yeah. That mm. immediate when I remember when I read it, it jumped out at me. I'm like, that's some they're bragging. That's somebody bragging, and why would they be bragging? They didn't do it. And how would they know? It is odd to say 19. It wouldn't have been odd to say 20 minutes because that's right. an estimation. When you right. get, over, I think, I, I don't know if you remember last time I was on, I, I said overly precise numbers and um, it should send up a flag. And, and it did in this case. That, that's good. It, when I when I read that the first time, I was thinking, okay, somebody, you know, he's trying to say he actually timed this by doing the walk or recreating it or, or whatever. But um, 19 minutes, yeah, it, it is an odd time. Right. And it, let's say it was 20. Let's see, he could say 20, but 19 is less than 20. Yeah. He's trying to make it clear this was done as qu very, very quickly. Four people, no sound, no blood trail. That, so that, I mean, this, we didn't know that it, then. We knew, knew we knew that there was no. Well, we didn't know there was no sound actually. Is this anonymous traceable at all? I don't know. Do, I know. Do you the, think the, the police the, would have been able to get subpoenas for this? I I, I wonder if they did. I wonder if they did. Um, let's see. Mads. He keeps referring to him. Dirty. Also pissed. She's with Rogaine. That's her boyfriend. Um, Titty's not a target at all. Bad luck. Well known fact. Dumbass youngins like E. Tutors are assigned. Dumb and now keep in mind, Koberger was a TA at Washington State University. Which is down the road. Like 10 minutes away in Washington. Yeah. I mean, it's that wild. And now just seeing the whilst thing in that application. Whilst is a British, that's a British term. And how far apart are these? They're done like a half an hour apart each or something on the same day? Uh, yeah, they were done. Yeah. Like he keeps three, on just 225, 315, 317, uh, all within an hour. And keep in mind that there was another one that came out um, that they found. It was on the, uh, the 12th, uh, on the... A couple days later, and it says, have fun catching me. I'm in the shitholes of Pennsylvania. And that's where they found him. Where does he say was that? in Pennsylvania? Um, where does he say that? Hold on. So a few days after these posts, another post, another comment goes up on this 4chan board. And it says, um, he says something very graphic about how he hung one of the victim's uh, intestines on a on a ceiling fan. And then he said, uh, have fun catching me. I'm in the shithole. Uh, I'm in a shithole of the woods of Pennsylvania. And he was. And that was written before he was, he was, uh, that was written before we knew where he was. And now, that was also unless, anonymous on, on the channel? Yep. Hmm. And it wouldn't yeah. be the first time a murderer would take to the internet to brag, because don't they want that recognition? Well, some, yeah. Um, it, it just it, it goes again to their, their, their motive, um, you know, mm -hmm. why they do what they did. Um, it, it it's gonna his trial is gonna be very interesting because a lot's gonna come out there, whether yeah, he testifies it, or not. It really is. If it goes to trial, maybe he might. If he takes a plea, I, I like I don't know. Uh, I just want those poor families to be able to put this 
to rest. I, I don't see him taking a plea. That's just my mm. guess. Because... He's not going to say a goddamn thing. He's not going to let anybody know he, anything because he, he knows everybody he, wants. He could get the death penalty even taking a plea. That's that's happened before. Um, I, I don't know that the prosecutors would even offer that life in yeah. prison for a plea. I think they yeah. feel they have a pretty strong case. Yeah, I, I think he's very intentionally dragging this out. I think he's keeping his mouth shut. He because he wants he loves he loves this. I think this is a guy who was he was trying to beat Bundy and Kai Omega. Yeah, it, it's when when you see it reminded me of Lee Harvey Oswald just now when he said he loves this. You know, he, 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 Oswald was perfectly comfortable sitting in jail for those two days and not saying a word to to anybody of any consequence. Just he was willing to talk and talk about things but not any admission toward Kennedy or the police officer. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, most of us would be kind of completely thrown for a loop being locked up. And uh, if we didn't do it, especially, you know, but uh, in this case, he, it's almost too, too collective, too collective, I should say. That um, is, he's, he's the same, Coburg is the same way. Yeah. Coburg yeah. is the same way. This again has been fascinating thank you so much for doing oh, this sure. anytime um, and still looking forward to going over the oj the oj note whenever you like to do that absolutely reach um, out and, and we can do that i will have a great thanksgiving thank you so much for doing this and i'll talk to you soon